Hey guys, so I wrote this song for math. It goes into customary and metric measurement. And it's all about like what we call benchmarks. So kind of um, wrapping your head around how long or how much something might weigh and things like that. So benchmarks are just things in our everyday life that we're used to seeing or dealing with that can kind of help us uh, wrap our head around different types of measurement. So I used a beat I like that was actually a TikTok, um, a Kesha song back, I think she released it like 2009, so it's a while back, but it just has a really fun beat. And so I used that and to actually sing this, um, you can look up TikTok instrumental and get it that way and sing it to it. My next video, I'm gonna actually go through it and um, I, I won't say sing, cause I'm not gonna put that word to what I do, I'm not. It's not one of my talents, so I pre-apologize, but I will kind of go through it so you know how it goes because some parts are really fast, and so it's kind of hard to figure out on your own, and that way you can make the most of it. But this one, I just wanted to talk more about the meaning of it and kind of the, the backstory of the song. So it kind of goes through a story of someone waking up, a student waking up and getting ready for school, um, but it has some time, um, some time things in there. Um, wait is here, but it's all about waking up, getting ready to go to school. And then this is a stanza or kind of like a chorus because it's repeated throughout. It's probably going to be the one you remember most because it's just easiest. Um, and it's kind of the fun stanza that gets put in there. But once you have the chorus part, then you go into a whole stanza just about length. And so it goes into um, inches, feet, and then relative things like a football field, 100 yards. And things like that here is 100 cm's. And so that's the abbreviation for centimeters. So know that 100 centimeters equals a meter stick. And so, and using a ruler. So again, wrapping your head around what's used for these types of measurement. So it's kind of just based on that. So that's your length stanza. Then you're getting back into the story and you're getting um, into school and it's about going into the classroom and just some more all kinds of measurement thrown in and a kind of a fun way to sing it. Again, your chorus here. So wake up, stretch your brain chorus. Um, and then you have a whole stanza here on weight. So for weight, you wanna think about scales. You wanna think about how heavy something is. Um, and that again is customary and metric. So thinking about grams, pounds, ounces, all of that's in there. So, um, and here a thousand grams is one kg. Again, knowing that kg stands for kilogram. Um, kilo being a thousand, so that'll kind of help you out for the sake of the song. Sometimes the abbreviations are used, so I just wanted to make sure you understood that. Um, let's see if I can scroll down. Now this is a part that goes really slow, and again, once you hear me go through it, you'll notice that part, but this is kind of like a summary of what you're, what you're doing. So to measure the length, so this first part's about the length, KM, it's abbreviation for kilometers or kilometers, you hear both. Um, so you know, for the sake of the song using the abbreviations, but KMs is really far away. So obviously you're not gonna measure um, like the, how long your pencil is with a kilometer or kilometer. Um, so notice that far distances. So come just knowing the phrases sometimes. This next part of the slow part is about capacity. And so, um, and then it goes back into weight. So capacity and weight. So both of those are in this stanza. And then it goes into a whole stanza of capacity. And this is back into the like the, the, the faster beat of the song. So it goes a little bit faster. You're out of the slow part. A um, thousand mLs in a liter. So mLs is abbreviation for milliliter. So um, just knowing that. And again, milli meaning a thousandth of a liter. It takes a thousand of them to fill up a liter. A family needs two liters of pop is one of the lines. Now, depending on where you're from, you might say pop or soda or Coke or Diet Coke or something different. Um, pop, again, was just a word I chose for the sake of the song. So, um, you know, all words are great there. Just for the sake of the song, it went better. Um, and then it ends with the chorus. So, again, the fun chorus. And I just changed the order of the last two just so you would end the song in a nice, fun way. Again, it's usually the first words you kind of memorize on your own is that last stanza, the wake up, stretch your brain part. That's a really fun part. But anyways, that's just to explain kind of the meaning behind it, because anytime you learn a song to help you um, learn something, yes, you learn the words a whole lot better and you can be saying them. But if you don't know the meaning behind them, it's not going to help. So that's just kind of the meaning behind it. I'm going to pause this one and we'll get back to um, the me trying it out in just a moment so you can hear kind of how it goes.